tumongezee makofi and finally before we move to the next part of the program allow me to invite dr edna talam ceo registrar nursing council of kenya tumkaribisha na makofi tena thank you so much um our chief guests are your excellency governor dr julius malombe your excellency deputy governor our cc health madam koki all protocols of sub good afternoon since my colleagues have spoken and i'm the regulator i will try to be able to keep up with the standards and i'll summarize my points within the next four minutes as we celebrate today and as my colleagues has been able to point out many issues including why we are here why we have our theme our nurses our future and of course the arts and science of midwifery being celebrating the evidence to reality let me just quickly highlight why the council is there the nazi council of care is there to protect the public and for that we need to be ensure that we enforce the standards we and we have the regulations and within that, we ensure that the nurses and midwives we produce have the right competencies and we maintain those competencies. But in that regard, I just want to just point a few issues that I want to seek that as we move forward and through you, your excellency, and of course, to, through the leadership of the health uh, management within the Kitui, we are happy to collaborate with all county governments in collaborative regulations. You've seen a lot of standards, a lot of um, regulatory reforms we have, inspections and the report, and I'm sure Madam Koki, all of them are in your desk. It is for us to be able to think through how we need to enhance our services, how we need to improve the clinical practice for both the nurses and the midwives who are working there and even for our students within the KMTC. Again, our conversation also surrounds how we need to retain. My colleagues have spoken, and I do not wish to be able to talk more of about the working environment, the remunerations, and the retention. But I'm informed by my colleagues, even as I sit here, by today we have 1,700 nurses for the last three months who have applied for immigration. And as I left the office yesterday, I had to sign over 120. And these are self-migrating nurses that they go, they look for jobs. It's not even within the BLA that we are discussing with the UK government. But then how do we need to do that? And that is where we say that we come together because in our next five years, it will be issues of fragile health systems. And I also want to urge even as our nurses goes and those who want to come back, let us be able to ensure that we have a way that when they come, their jobs are still there, they have gained experiences, they have gained competences, and if they want to come home, we really need to welcome them and we assure them that their jobs will still be there. Because I want to tell you, Buana Governor, I have over 50 nurses, they want to come back. They went there, they thought it was greener pastures. They have gained their competencies. Their children are in universities. They want to come back and retire. But we don't have a system of allowing them to come back. I just want to say that let us continue with this conversation and through your good office, we can advance this conversation to the entire COG. As I finish, we have made a lot of requests. But under our Vision 2030, of course, starting with SDGs, Vision 2030, we talk about our Kenya Manifesto, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa, and the primary health care. We have requested a lot. Your Excellency, allow us to manage the primary health care. And next year, let us come back here and see what is it that we've done to address the primary health care. And that is what we are requesting. Allow us to manage the community, tier one, tier two, the dispensary and health centers. Give the nurses leadership. And Buana Governor, I assure you those are low-hanging fruits. We are not requesting for much. May God bless you, Your Excellency. May God bless Kitui County. May God bless Kenya, nurses and midwife, and Africa that we want.